This video will look at exponential equations with like bases. In particular, we're going to state the one-to-one -one property for exponential functions and use it to solve exponential equations involving expressions with the same base and compatible bases. Exponential equations in which both sides can be written as expressions with the same base can be solved using the one-to-one -one property for exponential functions. This states that for any algebraic expressions s and t, b to the s is equal to b to the t if and only if s is equal to t. In other words, if we have an equation where some number is raised to one power is equal to that same number raised to another power, those two exponents um, can be set equal to each other, and we can solve that much simpler equation. For an example of using the one-to-one -one property for exponential functions to solve exponential equations, let's solve the equation 2 to the x minus 1 power equals 2 to the 2x minus 4 power. Notice that both sides of this equation are exponential terms with a base of 2. Since we have the same base, um, we look at the two exponents um, of 2 on each side, and the one-to-one -one property says that we're going to set those equal to each other. So in this case, we have a resulting equation of x minus 1 equals 2x minus 4. This is just a standard linear equation. Uh, we can solve this equation by subtracting x from both sides. So we have negative 1 equals x minus 4, because 2x minus x is x. And we can add 4 to both sides to get a solution of x equals 3. So x equals 3 is a solution to this particular equation. Notice that if we do substitute it back into the equation, um, we end up getting 2 to the 3 minus 1, which is 2 squared, or 4, on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, we get 2 to the 2 times 3 minus 4, uh, which will be 2 to the 6 minus 4, which is 2, which is also 4. So we do get um, the same number on both sides, verifying that this is a solution. If you'd like to practice with a similar problem, try to solve 5 to the 2x power equals 5 to the 3x plus 2 power. In a few seconds, the answer will display. In this example, we want to solve the equation 8 raised to the x plus 2 power equals 16 to the x plus 1 power. Unlike the previous example, this equation does not have the same base on each side. However, the two bases are certainly related. In fact, 8, we know, is 2 to the third power, and 16 is 2 to the fourth power. So both of our bases are, in fact, powers of 2. This means that we can rewrite our bases um, in terms of the number 2 and redo and rewrite our equation. Um, so to do that, we're going to replace the 8 on the left side with 2 cubed. So we have 2 cubed raised to the x plus 2 power. And we're going to replace the 16 on the right side with 2 to the 4th power and raise that to the x plus 1 power. Now on each side we have 2 raised to a power raised to another power. And by a property of exponents, um, when we raise a power to another power, we can multiply those powers together. So on the left we have 2 to the 3 times x plus 2 which will be 3x plus 6 when we distribute the 3. And on the right side, we have 2 raised to the 4 times x plus 1 power, which is 4x plus 4 when we distribute. Now we are in the same situation as in the previous example. We have 2 to a power equaling 2 to a power, and the same base 2 on each side. And so we can simply set our exponents equal to each other. So in this case, we have 3x plus 6 equals 4x plus 4. And again, we are left with a linear equation. Uh, we could subtract 3x from both sides and get 6 equals x plus 4. And then subtract 4 to get x equals 2. So x equals 2 is our solution to 8 raised to the x plus 2 equals 16 to the x plus 1. If you'd like a little bit of extra practice with this, try to solve the following two equations. 256 equals 4 to the x minus 5, and 5 to the 2x equals 25 to the 3x plus 2. Now the answers will appear underneath in a few seconds.
For one more example, let's solve the equation 2 to the 5x power equals square root 2. We can rewrite this equation so that both sides are 2 raised to powers by remembering that the square root of a number is the same thing as raising that number to the 1 half power. In this case, the square root of 2 can be rewritten as 2 to the 1 half power. And now we have two sides of our equation with, as an exponential with base 2, and so using the 1 to 1 property, we can conclude that the exponents 5x and 1 half are equal. And if 5x is equal to 1 half, we can divide by 5 to get x equals 1 half divided by 5, or 1 tenth. So here our solution is 1 tenth.